Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. I'm here with a gentleman from my team named Hari. Hi, everyone. And he is going to show us some very cool new technology that's just gone into public preview. So everyone now can play with this. Is that this is That is correct. Okay. But I'm totally kicked and excited about it. And this is something that we've uh, actually seen lots of customer requests for. This is something that perhaps since the beginning of days, Exactly. Of IaaS days, we've seen this as being one of the more one of the highest requested features to the point that I've received many death threats and cursings right. on uh, on blog posts and so on Correct. about why we don't have this, especially when yes. we launched Boot Diagnostics, which people said isn't what they actually Correct. fully wanted, partially what they wanted. So yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I, I kicked, I, I stole all your thunder. Explain no, us a little bit what we got here. All right. So as you mentioned, uh, we started off with Boot Diagnostic, which was uh, cool. It gave you access to serial logs of uh, the virtual machine. So people but could like debug issues. Exactly. They could look at the logs. They could figure something out. But what if your machine was really stuck? Now you know you're trying to figure out what you need to do. Have to go rebuild the whole thing. Exactly. And uh, we said that Painful. hey, let's let's make it as close to what they're used to. You know, it, it's after all an IaaS uh, system. Let's mm -hmm. make it you know uh, uh, what they're used to in their on premises. So what we have now is Serial Console that will show up for all public Azure customers. The Serial Console here, when you, when you click on it, uh, you would get access to Look console at that. For, Look at that, right in the portal experience. Exactly. So you can log in. And so what is the, the login and password here is just the administrator login and password. So this would be the same login and password that they have for, the, for SSHing in. That is correct. But this doesn't go through any network. That is correct. This is all uh, via portal only. This is uh, uh, what you configured when you created the VM. Now, if you don't have this, you can always use VM access uh, to go and create. create a, it if you create don't have a, an access. Okay, exactly. got it, got it, got it. Right. And so now uh, I am in inside the console, and to, to really prove that I'm inside the console, I'm going to uh, reboot the system. If you are going to be in. Uh, SSH, by this time, you would actually see a disconnect. It disconnects, and you, exactly. say, and you don't see any of the spew, and so if something breaks during boot, you don't see it, you don't get in because the network's not there. Absolutely. So at this point in time, it will reboot uh, shortly. Mm -hmm. The Linux VM will uh, go into a power cycle, and I'll show you, uh, you know, what the boot uh, screen would look got like. Got it, got it. But the, the question really is, is this about Linux or uh, specifically about Windows? What, what, what do you think? Well, I mean, look, I think uh, obviously with serial support, the goal is to get it going with uh, with Linux, but um, uh, and something that we've seen a lot. But we and certainly have requests for Windows as well. So you're saying we've got something here on the Windows side? Yes, we do. Okay. Let me show you uh, the grand old SAC. Look at this. SAC is actually a what does SAC stand for? I, you know, I've special never administrative this. console. Special. And uh, for, for people who do not know, this was this actually... This is special. It is special because like it was that. introduced back in Silver 2003. Wow. So it's been, uh, what, uh, more than a decade old? Uh, and it, and it, we're it's, finally using it. Exactly. And How about that? <laughs> it's, it's a pretty powerful uh, technology. SAC is a kernel mode driver. So okay. basically when the system boots, uh, it, you know, it's right there. It's available. And then it also provides you a command channel. So you but can this is through serial. So this is basically this is the through. same channel that the Linux side sees now. Exactly. We are enabling on the Windows side. Correct. And all of our images will be pre-enabled with this starting now, right? So that we will is have correct. the support straight out of the gate. Absolutely. And what you can do now is uh, you can open a command channel <sighs> and uh, log on into the system just like what you would do in Linux. Very cool. So now you are, again, no network, no network through the top, right? You're basically Correct. through the hypervisor system. Exactly. You're now on, look at this, System32. Exactly. Ready and, to go. And, and you can now, if you have uh, prob trouble using uh, you know, RDP and connecting to the system, you can log on. Can, they run, can they run PowerShell from here? Uh, let, let me try this out, actually. We, uh, if I can spell PowerShell, PowerShell. correctly. Have you actually not tried this before? I, I have, okay, actually. I just wanted <laughs> Okay, so they can run full PowerShell they can commands shell, full there. PowerShell, they, they can do whatever they need. Exactly. They get full power of WMI with PowerShell. Ooh. They can go and check the status of the terminal server. Now, what if they want to do like boot commands? So like they want to boot into safe mode or something, like they, maybe because that's uh, something is uh, pro problematic during boot. So let's, uh, let's shut down the system and, and see what uh, really happens. So by default, we would not have these advanced boot settings enabled in the system. So once the system uh, reboots, yes. and you, you would actually see the command shell so just go okay, away. Goes back to right? command and I'll say, shell SAC will become unavailable soon because the system is shutting system down. Shutting. Right? Now, look at this. 
And there you go. So into the boot manager. Into the boot manager, and uh, soon right after, you would actually see um, the like advanced oh, advanced options. So you want to go to safe mode. You want to go uh, to your last known good state. You can do all that from right here. This is what right. people have been. This is what people have been asking me for, and exactly. you finally make me look good. Right. I appreciate well, that. Yeah, I don't want you to die. <laughs> <laughs> so once once this is there, you can actually boot the system. Let's. Uh, Quickly go back and see what, what's happening on the Linux system. Oh, there you go, Windows, uh, excuse me, Linux is away, away they go. And the, right. as you can see, they show pretty much everything here. Correct, right? yeah, the yeah. entire boot uh, this. screen uh, this. comes in, right? The entire awesome. spew comes in and you can actually do. So if something failed here in the meantime, you'd be able to, Absolutely. You'd be able to jump right in. So one of the biggest uh, set of issues that customer uh, call us for is uh, a misconfigured FS tab in Linux. Yes, of course. And uh, if the system goes into single user mode, Voila, now you can use Seal Console, get into the get system, in and refix, fix, fix it. Uh, what used to take hours will be fixed in, in seconds. seconds. Exactly. You're going to say minutes. I know. What? Nothing. You raise the bar. The, the cloud you raise is the in price. seconds, man. Exactly. So let me price. ask this. It's super important. So this is gr this is super cool, super powerful, built right into the portal, which is great. So people get access to this by logging into their portal account. Correct. What is the uh, what is sort of the access control? So let's say I'm running and, and let's say this is a really secure system of mine. Yeah. I want to make sure that only the right people have access to my right. VM. What 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 can they enable as part of this to, to sort of lock this down? It's a fantastic question. So we. Uh, uh, we think security is uh, paramount for Seal Console. Of right? course, this is, you can this do is, you can do a lot of powerful things. Exactly. Here. So what we have done is uh, right off the bat, only uh, users who have VM contributor access okay. would get access to Seal Console. So that's in that's the role-based access control for Correct. Azure. Correct. So people have to have specific Azure access. Oh, Correct. I see here. Oh, so look. as you okay. can see, so so you, I have access. You, you have access, and, and even and Scott, Scott has, has access, access to this VM. <laughs> Right, as contributors. So you need to be a VM Why contributor. <laughs> okay, it's oh, fine. one of the demos. We'll you know what? We'll worry about this later. We'll worry <laughs> about this later. But I think we need to remove it. Yeah, so, uh, so what we have done is uh, right off the bat, we want to make sure the security is. Uh, so paramount. you have to be contributor. Or above. Or above. Right. So, so owner a, or contributor. Yeah, owner or contributor. I see that I'm not an owner. I'm just a contributor. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, That's nice. Yeah. Thank you. Right. I don't want you, you to don't mess want me have too much control. Exactly. I see. Exactly. So yeah, I mean we are we're quite excited. This, this is, is very be, cool. This is going to be available uh, in all public Azure regions uh, for everyone to try. This is available right off the bat. Uh, okay. you, so you it's available. Is it's available today? Exactly, it's available today. You just go to portal, see this uh, option available. No need to uh, set up anything. No but wait, anything. hold on. So Linux available today. You can just turn this on, and you're ready to roll with exactly. Linux. Exactly. Windows, you need to deploy either a new image or follow a few steps, right? Correct. Because SAC isn't turned on by default. Exactly. And there are just uh, two commands that you need to run on your system: RDP boom, boom. and done, and you're done. And do right. we have this in like a help exactly. file or something? Exactly. Okay. All our documents. Uh, for both uh, Linux and Windows have full details in terms of... But all of our images settings. now now turn it on. But Correct. Linux, they don't need to do anything. They can just turn this on and it all, works. All base platform images for Linux would work as is. This is uh, this is fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm really kicked and excited and I hope that customers really enjoy uh, using this uh, when you know when when they are trouble. Yeah. Uh, so well, hopefully they're not in trouble very often. But yeah. when they are in trouble, absolutely, we, we want to delight them. We do want to delight them. So cool. check this out. We have a little feedback button at the top there. If you've got feedback or comments about this feature, there you go. Hari just pointed to it. Yep. Send it in. Let us know. Go straight to Hari's inbox, and he will personally respond to every feedback. Request. Absolutely, that's that's my job. I've, I've uh, carved out time specifically for that. <laughs> awesome. No more Tuesdays with Corey. No more, no more time for this. Go right. get feedback. Thank cool. you so much. This has been great. Yeah, it's fantastic. Thanks for the and, time. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Please let us know. Give us feedback. This is, I think, one of the cooler features that we've shipped since I've been here. Um, Thank you. Uh, so so good work. Right. Thank you. And good work to you for telling us that we had to do this. And sorry it took us so long. But here we go. Uh, if you've got any questions, comments, feedback, other things you'd like to hear about, hit us up on uh, Twitter with hashtag Azure TWC. That stands for Tuesdays with Corey. Yep. I'm here with Hari. And uh, we're signing out. So thank you very much. Have a good thank Tuesday. You. I wish I was recording because you always come up with witticisms. I didn't. I, was that a witticism? Well, sort of. <laughs> oh, so it's been start. a while. Are you? Do you know how to start this? I don't remember how we start. Okay. So should I start uh, recording? Start the recording. You're All good right. to go. We're recording over here too, so we are live. Are you ready, ready, Rick? I am. Or I'm do ready. we need another three weeks to get you ready? <laughs> mm, when was the last time we recorded? Uh, more than three weeks. 
I would say it's probably closer that to... That was because the time that we had scheduled, you canceled. Oh. Oh. Okay. I think you were sick, right? <laughs> I don't know. We probably. Don't get, yes, I was. We don't get sick in this. I time. was sick. We I didn't... never get sick in this. I time. didn't want to get you sick. Oh, yeah. I bet that was it. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. You ready? Yep. You excited? I am totally. You've been waiting for this for like six months. Oh. Four and a half. Four, four and a half. This just to, just to be on the show, it has nothing to do with this feature. Yeah, exactly. I've told and he's you. recording there. You're recording uh, on that thing. I am recording. Okay, there. good. All right, All right let's ready? go. You ready? All right. Yes, I'm ready.